Now, I made five trips to Texas in my lifetime, and the four I made to the Houston area, I was the hosted by Rich and Edie Oliver, wonderful hosts, and in this case, Bill Rutherford, who had built his own RV-6, a home-built plane, decided one day when we were down there before the contest, he would take us for a ride in his RV-6. Now, he built this complete plane. It's called Bill the Batman, because as the plane flies over, you'll see Batman is painted on the bottom of the plane like a bat. A very, very cool paint job. We were impressed. This is Bill's hangar here. He was an aircraft mechanic, among other talented things, a great grandpa, and a wonderful host. He was just fun to be around, and he had visited my house many times, and all I can say is this is a great memory. So 20 years ago, we were in Houston for the model plane contest, and among other things, this ride was super, super memorable. But he got to buzz the field. I think he buzzed it four or three or four times. And one of them was really low. I think he, uh, made, made, well, we have it on video. You decide. But Bill, and you were one special dude, believe me. And this made my whole trip to Texas so special. By loop. Yeah, nice square. Hey, Thank let's check you. this out. Well, I'll tell you, that's beautiful. Well, we'll ask Bill what this. Five-bladed prop. Hmm. Very cool. Look at the pitch on those. Yeah. That's sweet. Bill Batman, molded, check it out. Molded fillet. Yeah. Look at the workmanship on this, can't they? Mm-hmm. Nice. RV6. Good airbrush job on the back. Yeah. Oh, at least there's some room in this one. Oh, it's plenty of room. Look at he's even got Letra sets on the thing. Check it out. What? Bill the Batman Letra set. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that cow, Kent. Nice. This would make a nice design for a uh, first lunch here. That's what I say, he stands back and... Yeah. What do you think, Chickadooly? Pretty cooly Chickadooly, huh? Real nice. You could have He's fun with this. Yeah, you nice could have work. fun. Nice, nice workmanship. Hey! You gotta get your camera down here, Wendy. And you gotta get a shot that way. What's up there? A bat. Oh, it's like on the bottom, I see. Oh my god, cool. Oh, that's nice. I don't know if you can see that. Bill the Batman, I like it. Well, it's bad aviation. Now, if I, if I was you, I'd can that whole Mustang project and make one of these into a stunt ship. I am going to. I got it already drawn. Will you? I enlarge, all I did was enlarge the side view of this. I'll help you design it, but don't you dare make the wing any bigger. <laughs> Rev up. Did you have to carve this, Bill? We can make a nice concourse prop out of this when he goes to sleep. But the only trouble is, if I make it scale, the fuselage is seven inches wide right back there. So what? Seven inches. I That's mean. what I said. So what? So what? Be a man. Uh, this prop. Wow. Bill, That's I see what you mean by the, the prop. Beautiful, huh? A lot of laminations. Look that, at that. Yeah, That's all the Chinese guys had that, had props like that. When you go faster, it takes a little bigger bite. Okay. Very what do cool. They put here on the leading? It's an epoxy inlay. Okay. So they tend to see they tend to beat up. Yeah, I'm sure. It's thicker here than it's not turn as fast. Not yeah, a lot's different. A lot's different. Are you ready to get the flight in before the wind comes up? Yeah. Look at the back surface. The back surface. What is this next door, Bill? This is what they had at Reno, something like that. 
the pusher. Oh, that's, uh, they built those there. They're going to build them. Composite fuselage, they're going to do a composite wing. That's an aluminum one. Um, they had something like that at Reno, very similar, with a pusher engine and... Yeah, it's, it's, it's been flown and all that. Not that one, that's just a mock-up. A but, canard. Um, Is that an RV-6, too? Uh, it says RV-8, 8 RV. Yeah, that, that, that's a guy named Chuck. Your buddy, you guys fly together? Uh, yeah, there's about 20 of us on the airport. Bill said there's three T-28s on the field, too. We, have, we only see the tail of one second out here. So that means the hamburger is $120, huh? If they yes, sir. If you're not having fun in Houston, you're not having any fun, baby. We are having the trip of the century. Stunt RV6s. Yep. Just doesn't get any better than this. And Edie Oliver, the host of the century. All right, so Les is going to go for a ride. We're going to try to get a picture to take off. We're going to run down with the car and get a picture. Bill's had a lot more practice at this than I have. <laughs> Make sure he lets you fly it. The last thing I'm going <laughs> to He looks like he may be a candidate for a heart attack. You'll have to land it. <laughs> uh, well, there's no smoking flight. I just remember. You got your harness on? Oh, I'm the right. harness is not for show. Let me tell you something. Listen, oh, my boy. If, if, if this harness was any tighter, windy, I'd get gang. <laughs> now, most people about this time, we get to find out what religion they are, <laughs> or at least what they had for breakfast. Yeah. Yeah. What did you have for breakfast, Les? Well, we'll all know soon. <laughs> Electric fuel pump. <laughs> I think if I remember right, Bill said it took him seven years to build this. this wasn't cool enough, this little airport that, that Bill is at has a seaplane, I'll call it a river for lack of a better like word. A oh, they're coming up as we speak. Here comes the seaplane. And Bill is soloed out in a seaplane already. What a cool place. And he's got his own flying field on the other side of the hangar. Les Dennett's getting ready for a ride here. Bill the Batman Rutherford. So much to see in life. So many cool things. There we go. He's doing his run-up. 
Got the strobes going. I think the seaplane's going to be in our way here pretty soon. Bill has his own flying field right on this, uh, right on the airport in between some of the hangars. Here we go. Looks like he's going out on the main. Batman. <laughs> uh, we want to see the bat on the wing. Let's see if we can see the bat, Bill Batman on the wing. Oh, Is that wild? <laughs> Very cool. Now we want to get the look on Les's face. I want to see if the bag is over his head yet. Help! Help! <laughs> well, you're going to check that, not me. That's Jackabone's job. <laughs> no, he's riding with you on from here on to Al's. He won't have to. Five minutes in the car, he'll know. <laughs> Bill, if you don't build a stunt model of the RV6, you'll a, never be a legend in your own time. He is a Rich legend. Oliver and I will never have real respect for you at all until we see a model of this. And he could even put less in a cockpit puking. That'd be cute. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't take any guff either. <laughs> <laughs> but that prop looks nice. But it really shows up nice. You'd have to build a wood laminated prop so it was scale. Uh, that's the model prop like that. The laminate ones? Yeah. $10 the model of that and the real plane side by side right. flying on the same field right. oh we're bored flying the model let's go take a ride in the real thing next 
Next guy going for right is Ken Tyser. What a day. Yeah, I got it. Sort of NASA school, like I miss Ashley school. So how was it? Good? Oh, yeah, it was great, right? Yeah, cool. Dude, you like, we like that low pass. That was cool. Oh, that was cool. I saw the, we saw the, uh, the pass. We're over on the <laughs> edge of the way. <laughs> and, you know, I'm comfortable with that. But he said, yeah. you know, it's just so responsive. And, well, and for, we're for most. Maybe that was 44. Bill, do you always taxi with the flaps down?
aerobatic ride. Some rolls, some loops. I'm sure the video is a little bouncy, but believe me, this was a, a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for me to get to ride, and, and all of us uh, that are visiting Bill, we got to thank you a whole lot. And I hope the people worldwide that are enjoying the video right now, hey, share the world you live in. And have this adventure, and we've accomplished just about everything we set out to do so far. And we're going to be, uh, we're going to see Bill's factory is a, uh, his factory, I guess, his repair facility here. He's going to give us a little tour, and then we're going to head up to Al Rabies, which will probably be on the next tape, for a tour of the Al Raby uh, model collection and some of the things Al has contributed to the world of model aviation. I got to teach him to find the infinite focus. Turn it on. Nobody's flying. He doesn't want to build buzzes till we're flying. Take your still camera. If, if he goes around again, see if you can get see if you can get me and him in the same shot. <laughs> now he's going. That I win. Wouldn't that have made a great shot though? Stay, stay right there. Stay right. Maybe we could dock this up. Hey, how's that right there? going? Uh, he looks like he's yawning a little bit. That Ravy rudder isn't kicking in yeah. just right. Yeah, he, with Tom with him, he may not be willing to buzz the yeah. field. Can, can you imagine what the lap time should be? Now, Bill Batman, while I was flying, and he distorted and ruined my whole my whole flight here. Totally, totally ruined my day. Where is he now? He's trying to sneak in. He's going to do something cool. I know there's something illegal. The buzzards are lining up. Bill the Batman. You've seen him in real. I heard the power's on. Here we go. Two of them. Power's on. I see it. Here we go. You got the bat on that shot, guys. Bill, is he coming back again? Here he comes. This is what it's like in Texas. Vacation with Windy in Texas. Doesn't get better than this. Comes his twin here. The scourge of model aviation, Bill the Batman Rutherford. So here we have a day critical mass, testerosis, ARFs. Take a wild guess. What's that stuff in your pants? Oh. This guy's a pussy. You just watch. Now we could freeze a frame off this. That'd be great. No, you know it'd be funny. Put a message on his machine that. Al's critical mass blew over from the wake turbulence and Al's gunning for you. <laughs> you broke the rudder off the critical mass. Oh no, here he comes again. Look at this wimp. Memphis. He's delivering a plane to Memphis. Bad boys, bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do when they come for only on windy videos. Al, do you have these little things on, on your videos? 
<laughs> Does he fly over your house when you're trying to paint your plane or something? No. Ah. I, I knew All I've got on my video is my acting scarred body. <laughs> Where did he go? Maybe, maybe some pictures of my sleeve. <laughs> how cool, Daryl, how cool was that? I mean, I thought he was going to get a little lower. To be honest, I think he wimped out on it. I was to hook up, I said, here's my handle. Oh, there he goes. At that point over there, he was below the top of that shed. Oh, yeah. 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 Over here. He was below. Yeah, he was just about on Is Is he really, is he a qualified pilot, or? Sure. Well, he didn't. He was. He didn't break it, did he? Yeah. He didn't break anything. That's usually the test in airline technology. If you don't break it, then you're qualified. Yeah, he is alive. So this footage from 20 years ago, some was shot by Richard Oliver, some by me, some by uh, other people around, and we've pieced it all together. It was donated by Ray Dory. Ray, thank you so much. And we're trying to honor Bill the Batman Rutherford here in some small way. I think it's an amazing accomplishment to build your own home-built airplane. I loved, absolutely loved the aerobatic part of the ride. That was just special as can be to me. I, uh, because I am a pilot and I had an air coupe, an air coupe is not aerobatic ra uh, rated, so we never got to do real aerobatics. But it was fun, and Bill let me fly the plane a little bit there. It was a lot, a lot of fun. And Bill, one of the people that we always enjoyed when we visited Texas, well, when we went to the Nats, when we went anywhere, your memory lives on. And I hope this footage lets a lot of people share it that otherwise wouldn't be able to share it. And it's old footage. The sound is kind of uh, squeaky on some spots, but I'm not sure if we didn't have this, I think the world would not be as good of a place as it is. And guys, one and all, if you enjoy these videos, and I hope you do, thanks so much for watching.